Joining me now live in our studios is Ambrose Omodion, Chief Research Officer, Invest Data Consulting Limited. Mr. Ambrose, good morning. Always a pleasure having you on the show. Thanks for having me. Bless it. The market still in bullish sentiment. What can you say happened at the NGS in the course of last week? For me, like I said uh, over the weekend when we were discussing that, uh, you know, the market is doing what it's expected to do at this particular time. Mm -hmm. Because in uh, equity investing, it's all called timing. And this timing has to do with when this MCP, MPC meeting comes up, when is the quarter result of companies released, and you know that this will come you know, on a regular basis for that as an investor mm -hmm. to plan towards that direction. Also, seeing that uh, you know, the earnings season has just kicked off, and seeing the first number again coming from that in financial sector, beating expectation that have triggered uh, you know, the buying sentiment. And also, before now, even before the, the new government came on board, in the month of May, I said it like for that, the banking sector have been the engine of most of the trading on, on the equity because mm. they have volume at the same time, you know, being a sector that is enjoying some policies before the new government came with their own policies, before interest rates have been a support for them because they have been on uptrend. Okay. You know, people are already positioned that sector. And when this trend come and result that came from that uh, sector, just one of them from the banking sector, think the face of the sector. For that, I see that investor will not be true to that report. Let them not be carried away with uh, the result now. Because every player in the market had different goal. That means it's possible that this morning I've seen some profit taking some stuff. Because why? There are some traders that have made their yeah, 25%, 10%, 40%. They want to go out. But you are buying. But you know why? That's why I say you should have a goal when you enter the market. You have your target, all those stuff. But now that the market is going up, don't be carried away with an up market. I tell you that because this result will just be a season. It will also stop. They will now look at what the third quarter look like. Also, like today is the first new day of the MPC meeting. Yes. Like I have that this week, I put it there that uh, the global financial market is either on a make or on a break. Mm. What I said is that almost like five different countries having their yeah, MPC meeting or policy meeting for this week. Nigeria have started their own this today. Yeah. Tomorrow we are seeing Indonesia. Yeah. We are seeing uh, no UK, uh, US Fed on Wednesday. On Thursday, we are seeing uh, no European. Uh, yeah, also, ECB. Yeah, only we are seeing uh, Japan on Friday mm. because it's a policy week for that means they want to decide where the financial market the world will be going. Mm. And if we in Nigeria now today, tomorrow we hear a uh, communicate from the from the from CBN. the uh, from the you know, from the committee. And it tells us that are they going to high rates? This is very, very key. Everybody say either make or mark. Oh, mark. Why? Because if you are pushing the economy to a tight corner with no hiking rate, no for like I was in Nigeria, that it is not so money supply that push our inflation to where it is. It does uh, reforms and the other things outside the you know the monetary policy. Then for me, this time for it, either we'll do a post or we'll just leave it flat, like I just say head down hold. But if we look at what is happening in US or uh, or ECB, mm. they told us earlier that they're going to do for you, this is the last one that will be in 25 basic points. And from that, this one, the circle of hike will close. Oh, wow. Then in ECB, they tell us that, okay, this is the second to the last they will do, after that, it close. But Nigeria, we don't know whether this is the one we're going to all do. But that's to expect that for what is happening, since it's just policy driven mm. inflation, pressures on the day, you need to leave all this to die. Like I said in tech analysis or in, in uh, equity investment, after we applied, Fundamental think analysis, the other thing very important is patient. Now that we have seen reform coming here and there, whether they are mis mismatched reform or not, but we are seeing that there are some good of this reform. You need to give time to see how this reform will blend, mm. to see event of phony before you can now For me, this is the time for even MPC to be thinking how can we stabilize the rate because now we have seen that inflation is around around you know, 22.7, almost 23%. Mm. If you also hike inflation, like I said in this flat on that, any CBN or any monetary policy, we only have you know, two instruments to use. Now, we have uh, exchange rate change in Nigeria. Exchange rates have been changed. Inflation on SI. You can also go and touch your inflation, yeah, so your interest rate. rates. Like these, are the these are the monetary things. Yes, money that you know, the central bank only will trade around with. You can't control the trade at once. You must leave one or two to control one. Now that we've already, you have already used your you know, exchange rate to put uh, prejudice inflation, you don't need to also want to use your interest rate to mm -hmm. add to what is set up. For me, it's time for them to look at that and what, what the outcome will be. For me, there's no cause for alarm. There's no cause for alarm for those deciding to trade at the capital market yeah. this week. But then again, looking at the figure we got from last week, we see that um, the oil and gas sector actually followed suit after the, um, um, the financial service sector. Um, what do you think brought about the rally that, that, that brought about the momentum in the oil and gas sector? No, don't forget that you know, before now, if you look at what is happening globally, mm. oil prices have hit almost uh, $120 when the Ukraine and Russia law started, but it pulled down to almost below 80 for a long while. That's why we are seeing decline inflation in most of the mature economy. Okay. But here in Nigeria, because of the reform we are seeing in the environment, you know, it has changed the sentiment of people towards the oil sector. And not only that, because let me tell you one thing that is very, very important. Most of all the oil marketers in Nigeria, before the pronunciation of uh, subsidy 
is gone. Mm. They all have you no know, product or inventory you know, on stock. And when they, another thing, new price that came automatically got more than 200 percent increase in change. That's going to boost their world, their earnings. earnings yeah. At the end of the day, it's going to reflect on the product. If we are sincere now, we're going to see it's going to reflect on that. But don't forget that also not up to another month, they will see another hike again. And most of these uh, marketers also have gotten plans not to import to, to, to import fuel. Yeah, I country. believe that you no know, in the short term going to make money, but only that subsequently again the mm. cost of importing also increase. Mm. They have them actually about because of the inventory you have before, we expect to see a move in your what in your earnings on your revenue. That will also impact you know their profit. And also don't forget that equity feed of what on earnings. Mm. When you see you no know, impressive earning price will react to that impressive earnings anywhere any market yeah. okay let's quickly touch at um, the services sector which happens to be the conglomerate industry we've seen a turnover of 180 0.5 million era worth of shares. Um, what would you say is the rationale behind this? For me, conglomerate sector, it depends, you know, if you're a conglomerate company, you have subsidiary that are into some manufacturing sector, you're going to hit your bottom line at the end of the day because I tell you, you're you know importing your raw materials unless you have done backward integration. Mm. But if not, because you have conglomerate, you can already juggle where you have want to replace it. That is why first bank are able to su survive all this way because they are a holding company. Yes. When they are having a, you know, a lot of uh, non-performing loan, all that you no know, software was contributed. They are still paying 25, 35, 40 kuben per share, you know, dividend. But now they are coming back from there. I think that is, that's where, that is good of a conglomerate. But it depends in where the sector you are, where you are operating. You are conglomerate fully on manufacturing sector. Mm. You need to sit up because going to the future, this reform until we start seeing stability, uh, stability, you know, ahead before we can say. But for now, we can see that the acuity might look good. But if this trend we are seeing today, this second concern continue in this quarter, we might see you no know, a kind of a slowdown, you know, in the in their earnings for today.